Do you sometimes have a feeling that you need help while working with Linux? Yeah, probably all the time, right? Now, don't get me wrong, Linux is quite amazing, but sometimes it's a bit of a beast. Like it's complex, especially if you're just starting to use it. All these commands you have to know, all the different switches and ways you can use them. Yeah, basically finding the help. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. When you're in the terminal, when you're in the CLI and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, how do you get help? It's actually pretty cool. And it's actually right there in the terminal. And I will show you this in the upcoming moments. So, yeah, let's do it right now. Welcome to Linux for Everyone, episode three. And in this episode, we are going to cover quite a bit. It's going to definitely be a fun one. And there are three things we are going to cover in this video. First, I mean, we are going to get some help. I will show you how to use the Linux terminal to get help with any commands you're using. That way, you don't feel so lost because sometimes I feel it as well. And this is a great way to kind of help that feeling. It never really goes away, but it does help it. We are also going to take some time and get to know our Linux terminal a bit better, learn a bit more about them. And third, like we are going to learn some new commands today and like the commands that will help us learn more about the Linux system we are using. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Now, first, as always, we are going to use our like free Linux lab from Hack the Box Academy. And if you don't know how to set it up, if you don't know how to use it, you can just go back and jump into the episode one where I like show you how to go through and set up the amazing lab that Hack the Box has. And once you're there, watch the episode two and then you can come back and watch the episode three because like then it helps you get more information about things and also if you have your own linux system already booted up as a virtual machine or as a actual drive itself you are free, free to use it as well so now let's let's going first we're going to talk about the terminal and now we got to know terminal pretty well so far in the series, we are used to it to do a lot of interesting things. So let's go ahead and we can launch it. So if you remember probably here, you can see that's how you launch your terminal. So probably you're no stranger to it and you know how it works pretty well, but you can always get to know it way better through time. So let's do that. A few things to know about terminal here like really quick now first is that this basically is not actually a terminal it's like a terminal emulator like it's just pretending which basically brings up the question what's a terminal what's this like and it's yeah it's actually looked on to find some some point of computer i would say and and when you see this like and you think about the terminal i want you to think of like a keyboard the screen the monitor like the physical things that you are using to interact with the computer you can also like for an example search for vt100 this gives you like a on google and it will give you a interesting information about the terminal itself so yeah that's basically what it is as we were talking about now we don't have to use use terminal itself because again it there's so many things included in one that's why we have the terminal emulator like a pretty nice like window that you see here that pretends to be the physical keyboard monitor and such things now the terminal has one job that is to give us access to things like our commands the things we use to interact with our operating system now that's basically a key point here and this is something that most people don't understand the commands and things we use to interact with the computer that's not the terminal 
that is a shell the shell is like the user interface we use to interact with the operating system like the linux kernel that we talked also about in the episode one the terminal or the terminal emulator is what we use to interact with the shell again just kind of picturing the terminal emulator as being like a physical device keyboard and monitor and the shell is like our ui now there are like different shells the one that we are using right now it's called bash and you probably might have heard about it bash or like born again shell that's how it's called it is like by far the most common shell you will see but yeah really quick how do you know which shell you're using so now like there's a command time and the command time is like in this we will just look at what our first command and the command is who and it's pretty interesting like let's just what we'll do is like we will just type this command and try what what it says so when you say who here it says who exactly you are like it's basically who am i and now the way that we try to figure out which shell we are using we are going to use like the ps command the ps command stands for process status and it's basically a way of simply listing the processes running on your linux box and tells you what's going on so or like what is the state so let's try this out when you type ps that you will see we can figure out what it says and this one of the processes is like indeed the bash so when you see here it says bash and now there are also others such as powershell for an example zsh for an example such things and you will like figure out some of them so when we go back and here when you see like there's the blue one and when you click on this it opens up the powershell for you and this is basically a shell which is powershell and the other which we are using was bash now why this is special is because it's like powershell is windows microsoft they that's from them what might refer to as the opposite of linux which is not really the case anymore but powershell runs on linux like it's a shell it's a way of interacting with linux if i for an example use the same command as before and so what we will look at the process here instead of bad is it shows like pwsh which is obviously which stands for powershell now just a couple more things to get to know about the terminal here so why is it called a terminal why don't you call it something else well the answer you can call them whatever you want people say terminal bash cell the console even they like use this term interchangeably when you're launching this terminal emulator and you start typing away so feel free to use any of those but if you want to be like super fancy or like use the nerdy terms um then yeah you this is like the terminal emulator and you're using the bash that's how you call it so yeah now last to get like just just having things done into the topics we when we launch the shell you'll notice that you already have some stuff there stuff that you didn't put there so what does this mean for an example this right here is your user account what you see here who you are then you're normally what you will see is like symbol like you have it here in here and there's this is like basically at what you will see and this is like the host name of the linux server that you're using or the linux machine whatever it is and then you normally have right after that where you are in the file system like which directory you're working on such things that you will see and yeah 
it tells you like the same thing if you type for an example wd here you see the same thing now you don't commonly see all the things here what you see here for an example um like it's just custom for like the box in my opinion but right here what you see these things these are like these are commonly what you see when you launch a shell a terminal or back like, i never know sometimes what to call it but yeah let's just call it terminal so your username um the host name where you are and the one thing or like one more last thing you will see before you start typing so like here as well before you start the commands you will see a dollar sign and this might get you also confused or bring you to a question what it is and it means that you are a user it means you're logged in as a user on the system and maybe you might be thinking that isn't this always the case aren't you logged in as a user the whole time yes but sometimes you are also logged in as a you like a root user so when you are like for an example logged in as the root user you instead of looking at the dollar sign you will see that there is a hash sign for an example and not for an example if you use uh, your own linux as a virtual machine or anything else you could also move into your root and you will see that this sign changes so that's how it basically works and yeah so let's for an example once you're done with this we now can move into our commands or getting things done so what we'll do is like we will look at a lot of commands and see how it works but before getting into it like let's type d and you see you see the id tells you all about you like host name and you can type host name it tells you all about your host name for an example type config it tells you about the all the network ip stuff then if you type net stat then it tells you all about the status of your network if you at ps then it tells you all about the process stuff we already covered that if you type env and then it tells you about the environmental variables type ls b l k for an example it lists all the blocks you type ls usb it tells you that there if there are any usb plugged in then the other is ls of this will list all the open files like a lot of things okay so did you get all of this definitely not right because i went too fast i went too fast because i want you to think that you need help and right now i'm going to show you how to get help so quickly when i went through like a lot of commands without really giving too much details on what these commands actually do and let's be honest even if i give you every detail about the commands you did probably forget it after a week or two something like this at least i know i sometimes do and yeah even if you do remember to remember everything it is usually impossible so how do we kind of remember things or how do we try to get things done to get help which with will like basically with pretty much any command out there we are going to use the man command the sounds really interesting like the command name itself is man and usually this just means manual so it's like a detailed manual of what the command is description and such things so it's basically built in the linux and yeah 
i can keep talking about it so let's just for now clear up and when you type man what you see is it will give you all the information of what exactly this does and you can read that information as well now what we are going to do is like we will try to look at some different commands so for an example when you type man ls here you see all the information about ls the command that we used in last two previous videos as well and yeah so these are like basically information links you can also type man ip and it gives you all the information about this as well so with most commands you can do this and it just works clearing up uh, and just if you don't remember you can clear the screen by either typing clear or through control l and it does basically the same thing and yeah so coming back to the man command what we are going to do is like we will try different commands and use help for it so for an example when you type um dash h sometimes it works with dash h sometimes you have to use help it depends on which operating system you're using so depending on whichever you use you can always try usually it works with dash h when it doesn't you can also just type dash dash h e l p so help you can choose either of those and you will get the help so now what's cool about this is that it doesn't give you like here when you see like the whole printed novel sometimes you might want the novel to learn things with the ones that we saw previously but sometimes you just want or like just need to know what are the switches i can use to use for this command how do i use this and that's what this gives now i'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here i could go into more details about the commands that i've showed you and everything but i want you to do that like i want you to use the man command get into the manual page find out about these commands yourself use the dash dash help or dash h one of the two which works and practice these commands and learn how to use them for yourself that's like really the biggest thing you need to learn in linux is how to learn for yourself you will always encounter tools or commands or whatever that you don't know how to use it's going to happen it happens less as you deal with linux more but it's still going to happen no matter what so you need to know how to get help so practice that right now like right away go do it you're going to have to use like the man command you're going to have to get some help so what you have to do is like get all the information that you can through the help of this command itself.